it's more than just giving a person a bed for the night. It's more than just giving a person a warm meal. It really is giving a person hope. It's giving a person real um, expectation for themselves. My name is Kimberly Jeffers. I've been at the Salvation Army Shelter off and on for the last 20 years. My kids and I were there, oh, I'd say the first time, probably a little over three months. And from there, got my own place, wound up coming back about a year year and a half later, I felt bad because I knew I had a responsibility, not just to my children, but to myself. And Salvation Army helped me. I have been at Salvation Army three months. I have a wonderful counselor who is constantly cheering me on. She asked me what my goals were, what I what I I wanted to see myself in a year. And I told her, preferably in my own home. I put myself out there and I did the best I could for me. I will have my financial aid and I will be starting at Chemeketa doing business management. You know, it's not just my case manager that makes me feel like I'm in a home. That's not a shelter, that's a home. Salvation Army has been there to support me in every sense of the word. I'm Stephanie Jeffers, and you just heard from my mother, Kimberly. I was about three years old when I first moved into the shelter. Amanda is really awesome. Yes, she um, she really wants to make sure that when you do transition out of the shelter, that you are going to have a stable life. She wanted me to get back into school because that's something she knew I had been wanting to do and I didn't know how to take the steps properly to get there and she helped me to get there. My name is Eric Flaff. I'm actually the Salem Salvation Army Food Coordinator. I first came to Salvation Army uh, Front Street Shelter in uh, April of 2009. I was living in Oregon City with my family. I was working uh, part-time with an electric company. And when the housing market hit, the crunch hit, I was laid off from that job. I had no savings. I had this little family that I was looking at, uh, no place to go. Somebody actually had told me about Front Street Shelter in Salem, Salvation Army. They welcomed us with open arms. They told us that it's gonna be okay, that we got you, that we will help you, you know, as long as you're trying to help yourself. I was asked to restructure the shelter's food program. You know, the menus, get more nutritional. A lot of people that come off the streets, um, they, they haven't eaten very good meals well for years. We actually started a garden. We needed some help in the garden, and so some of the residents volunteered. They wanted to be a part of it. It was the volunteers that did most of the work out there because they wanted to. It was a place for them to go meditate, to go just get their hands in the dirt and grow the food they're going to be eating. So literally, they fed themselves last summer. It's the best organization I think that I've ever come across in my 43 years that truly gives back in all aspects.
And that's what I've been able to see at the shelters really over the last 10 years that I've uh, been engaged uh, with Salvation Army. And I appreciate so much the work that's going on inside the Salvation Army and the way the staff care about the people who live there and about the way the people who are there are really trying hard to make their lives better. Having them transition out into their own stable housing is one of the best feelings I've had since I started working here. So even the little goals um, like gaining employment or even developing a resume or something that they haven't had before, all of those little tiny steps make me feel good and like I'm actually making a difference in their lives.